Yo, what is up, guys? Nat Graphics slash Fly Reveals here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Beyond the Buzzer type edit. So, first what you want to do is you want to go in the Photoshop Touch. Okay, and most of the time you want to find a PNG because it's, like, way easier. Uh, here's an example. Uh, yeah. So... Let me just find some some that I uh, hold on. Yeah. Okay. So right here. So you want to find the PNG first. You want to find the skin picture that you want to use. Okay, then you want to go to, you want to bring out the masked player that you want to use. Then you want to, I gotta go all the way back up there again. Okay, then you got to, um, you gotta get the original picture of it skinned. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. have it fit come on now um, I, I don't okay so we need to make the the max masked one a little bit bigger so Sorry about this. Um. All right, so that should be good. Okay, so now you want to go on your original picture, black and white. Um. So then you want to go up on Google and then search some more pictures of James Harden, like shooting or layups. Okay, like like that. So. Okay. Come on. Okay, so you want to find basically pictures like of him shooting like this or something like this. Do you want to size it? Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, for now that's good. Then you want to make sure it's you want to make sure it's black and white. So it'll blend in with it, you know. So then you, what you want to do is you want to go to the eraser tool, turn down the hardness, and then you want to mask around it. Whoops, that's not. Am I on it? All right, yeah. Okay, so you want to turn down the hardness a lot, maybe a little bit of up the opacity, and then just like mask around it to make it blend in. Alright, okay, so, next you want to get the next picture, which, oh my god, I need to make the notifications go away. Okay, so it's gonna be, alright, right here, so, I'm gonna use this picture as another one, of course. Okay, my bad guys. Okay. Didn't think it would be uh. Alright, okay, so now you just wanna like move it to a s not text. No. Alright. So you just wanna move it to Oh I should uh, throw this away. Okay. 
So now you just want to move it. I thought I just deleted that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good size. And you just want to turn it black and white now. Okay, and then, like I said, you want to turn the hardness down a bit and maybe some of the little bit of opacity. Then you just want to mask all the hard edges off. Uh, sorry guys, this isn't the best, but thanks for 3k by the way, and let me know if you guys want more stuff like this, tutorials at a certain amount of followers. Okay, so now that that's done, you want to make an empty layer, then you want to use either a gradient or a fill, and, uh, let's see, red. You need a red color, and then make it... Put it on overlay. Okay, yeah, yeah, that looks good. Alright. Next. Next, it's all about the effects now. Next, it's... Alright, so just... Let me go find the ones. Okay. Okay, I, I've used this one before. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, screen mode. Okay. So you just want to move it to where it looks, to wherever it looks good to you. So I put it like anywhere around here, something like that. Sometimes you can duplicate it to um move it around a bit around the player. Next, what you want to do is. Yeah, you just keep on putting putting more effects on it to make it look de decent. This might not be the best beyond the buzzer, but you know, it's, I try. <laughs> so yeah, we could use something like this. Put it on screen. Move it around a bit. Mask all the hard edges off. Okay. Let me just go clean some up on this one. That should look fine. Okay, um I'm not sure what the max layers for Photoshop touch is, but if that if you get some max layers then just merge some. That's what I just do. So, sometimes you want to grab effects like these, this one. Sorry about that again. I just like screenshot a lot of stuff like that. Uh, shout out to Slick Reveals for that effect, I guess some of the other ones that I've used okay which is probably on a million other reveal pages so yeah you just want to move it to your liking and sometimes there'll be there'll be templates for BTB stuff like that to where it makes it the players in the background in like a shape and I might be able to get to that 
but I'm not sure where I can put this. Yeah, usually you put it in the middle, but with that swirl effect in, it won't really look good. But whatever. Um, so yeah, you could basically just use any kind of effect that really looks good, fits good. Um, but... Yeah, I think... I think that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Fire Reels, Nat Graphics, signing off.